So the students who enroll on the Games Design New Media course will learn about the visual aspects of games design. So we take them through all the various aspects such as concept art, animation in both 2D and 3D elements, we go through 3D model and level design, we go through 2D games design so they'll actually create games themselves. Um, so it's about that creative design process where they go through the stages of initial idea generation, development and iterative design aspects and then coming up with their finalised uh, product. The students will study predominantly through practical projects that we kind of cover throughout the year. Uh, we'll go through a teaching and learning stage where the students will be kind of taught the basic principles, the key skills associated with that particular discipline. And then after that's completed, we give them an assessed project where they'll take those skills and techniques that we've taught them and apply it in their own specific brief that's given to them. The way in which we've tried to make our course unique is about the focus on the visual and creative side of games design. Uh, other courses will try and incorporate all the different elements including a lot of the kind of technical programming side of things which we found in previous years when we looked at that it meant that it diluted everything down too much to the point where students didn't have a chance to kind of specialise in particular areas in an industry that is about specialists. So we wanted to have our course specifically focus around the designing of uh, visual assets related to games so that we could prepare them for their time beyond BOA to develop those particular specialists. So on the Games Design course we have a number of different specialist equipment and, and softwares available to our students. Uh, we have graphics tablets on all of our computers to allow the students the ability to do any of our digital design work consistently throughout the year. We have uh, the HTC Vive set up so that when we do our 3D modelling and environment projects the students can upload it onto that space so that they can actually see it in a virtual reality setting. Uh, this allows us to kind of incorporate some of those kind of more contemporary elements of virtual reality in gaming to the content that we're producing uh, and then from a software standpoint we try and use industry level software throughout all of the content that we do so we use the Adobe package for a lot of our design work we use the Autodesk packages for our 3D modeling tasks and activities and then we use the Unreal 4 engine for the purposes of any of our game engine content because they are the industry standard materials and students should be taught using industry standard materials. Throughout our course we endeavour to incorporate a lot of extracurricular elements into our work so we'll have a number of instances where universities will come in, do guest lectures and workshops and build up that kind of setup so the students are aware of what's going to be going on once they finish their time at BOA. We also like to do visits and kind of talks with industry professionals so this year we had Codemasters come in and we also went over to them to have a tour of their studio. We also like to engage in live briefs. So so we had some students uh, take part in the World Skills uh, Challenge this past year and got to the semi-finals with that content. So we try our best to incorporate any kind of extracurricular and live content throughout the work that they do. Despite our course being relatively new, we've already had a lot of successes in regards to students who have finished our course. We've had students who are uh, working in commission pieces and are kind of successfully uh, generating income through commissioned work. We've had students who have done work experience at Rockstar. Uh, we've had a number of students go off and, and achieve very highly in their first round of, of university degree. So um, I wouldn't be surprised in a few years seeing some of their names pop up in games somewhere down the line.